This movie is bad. Like, really, really bad. Uh, first of all, Ray is still one of the most boring protagonists I've ever seen. She's a Mary Sue with no personality at all, aside from I do that stuff. She doesn't really learn any lessons or any really impressive force powers. She still doesn't know how to wield a lightsaber. Watching lightsaber battles in this new trilogy is boring. And that is one thing you should never have is boring lightsaber duels in a Star Wars movie. But they are. They, they're boring. I can't tell the difference between... Ray versus Kylo and Ray and Kylo versus the freaking Imperial Guards. That's how bad it is. And what was up with not telling Poe the plan? Okay. He was the most one of the most popular, most well liked, most admired soldiers in the rebellion. Uh Leia had just been taken out and was unconscious. Nobody knew if she was going to live. Which means it's transferred over the command of somebody new that nobody's heard of. General or Admiral Yonder or Hoarder or whatever. But uh, she's a nothing character. And <coughs> she decides not to tell Poe the plan. <coughs> Even though with Poe's popularity and admiration he could prevent a mutiny from happening from a sudden transfer a new command that nobody had faith in she decides not to take that opportunity because she's the worst admiral in the entirety of the Star Wars franchise and she's there just to be like woke woman which is something I want to call nonsense on this movie isn't woke despite what everybody's saying, it's not woke. It's a movie that took the only minority characters in the new trilogy, dumbed them down, turned them into stereotypes, turned them into mutineers and traitors, and gave them pointless side quests that nobody wanted. Mm. What was Rose's character, by the way? That's her name, like Rose? Tanaka or Tanaki or whatever? Yeah, she she doesn't have one because she's a minority side character. This movie isn't woke. It's it's honestly kind of racist. Now that I stop and think about it. Also, they took the most interesting character going into this movie, that being Finn, and turned him into a stereotype. The bumbling Ophi sidekick. Even in his own part of the story, he's the sidekick. But that ain't nothing to what they did to the original Choji characters. Oh my god. Luke. You were the good guy, remember? You remember that? You were a good guy once? <sighs> you were a hero who never gave up. You've suddenly given up. I don't. I don't understand why Ryan Johnson apparently didn't understand Luke's character. I mean, you could watch the original show and you understand it perfectly. He doesn't give up on anyone, and that's an important note to make, because he gives up on Kylo Ren, or Ben Solo, and tries to kill him because he's having dark thoughts, or something like that. And Dude, you didn't even try to kill your own father. And he chopped off your hand. No wonder Kylo went to the dark side. His freaking family were just grossly incompetent at everything. <coughs> like, you really expect me to believe that Leia, with all of her years of experience in fighting a rebellion, couldn't beat the First Order in a single battle? Yeah, sure, she did it in Starkiller Base, but that was just basically a rinse and repeat of the Death Star destructions. And all her time, she hasn't come up with a better way to fight an evil, empiric, and 
pirate like overlord <sighs> they wasted Katie Fisher in this movie and I'm sad that this is her final role that's okay because the first order ain't any better what was the point to Captain Phasma no seriously what was the point to Captain Phasma she gets little to no screen time little to no development she does almost nothing and oh what was with Finn being able to go toe to toe with her Finn didn't have the training experience or established character history and skill to go up against Captain Phasma but he's doing it perfectly fine without any problems what? <laughs> uh, they wasted her they wasted her actress they they just wasted it that's that's what this new trilogy is it's just wasted potential wasted plot points wasted character development and wasted action scenes I'm okay making a joke and then turning the main villains of the franchise into a joke are two completely different things and this movie goes with the latter I can't take the first order seriously they've been rendered nothing but a joke oh and I look forward to Snoke's backstory nope we're never gonna get it <sighs> if this was a standalone it'd get maybe a 4 out of 10 just slightly below average but since it's a sequel that knows this part of a trilogy it gets a four it gets a three out of ten for me goodbye